Hey everyone! One of our amazing viewers left a comment on one of our videos asking for a tutorial on how to create a cute 3D animal adventure, just like Roro and Dodo Tales. Her name is Sophia Ali, and here's what she said, Your videos are so so great! Can you give us a tutorial of a channel like Roro and Dodo Tales? A big shout out to you my friend Sophia Ali, this one's for you. Your request made my whole day brighter, thank you so much for the support and kindness. When I read Sophia Ali's comment in the comments section of one of my videos, I got curious and looked up the channel Roro and Dodo Tales. It turns out, it's a 3D animated adventure series featuring a cute duck and a super adorable bunny. There's no voiceover, just sound effects and strong, funny or emotional storylines that follow the adventures of these two lovable characters. As you can see, every video on that channel uses the same two characters, Roro and Dodo. The stories change with every upload, but the characters stay the same. This is exactly what I always tell you guys, if you choose a niche like this, stick with your main characters in all your videos. It becomes like a trademark for your channel, your audience will recognize you instantly and keep coming back for more adventures with your unique characters. But if you're planning to create this kind of niche, I strongly suggest you come up with your own unique cute characters, not the exact same ones that are already popular on YouTube. Also, think of different adventure stories that set your channel apart. And most importantly, don't use the same names as their channel. If you do, they could accuse you of copying their content and even file a takedown request with YouTube. So, always make sure your characters, names, and stories are original. That's how you build your own brand and avoid any copyright trouble. So, if you want to learn how to create your own 3D animal character adventure, keep watching, I'll show you how to do it from start to finish. I'm going to show you exactly how I make a fun story video just like Roro and Dodo Tales, step by step. We'll cover everything from creating your own characters and planning their adventures, to designing the visuals, bringing them to life with simple animation and putting it all together into one seamless adventure video. So grab your notebook, get comfy, and let's get started. Before we dive in, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on animation making. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with your friends. Step 1. Creating a story. A 3D animated cartoon video is much more appealing to audiences when it has a good story, especially if your viewers are children. Adding funny moments or emotional scenes keeps kids engaged and makes them want to keep watching. When they're entertained, they'll come back for more. All you need to do is prepare a good story for your video. Use your imagination to come up with fun and engaging adventures for your characters. Here's a story I've prepared for this video. It's about a duck and a bunny who are friends exploring the forest near a pond. I've decided to title it The Magical Pond. I will highlight the names of the characters mentioned in each line so I'll know which character should appear in each scene later. Step 2. Creating Characters I will be using ChatGPT to create the character prompts for our story. Go back to your story and identify all the characters. Highlight each one to make sure you don't miss anyone included in the story. In my story, there are three characters. The two main characters are a duck and a bunny, and the third is an old wizard who appears in the narrative. To maintain character consistency throughout the story, we need to create detailed character prompts for each of them. Here are the character prompts I've prepared for each of the characters. Character prompts are short descriptions that define how each character looks, acts, and fits into the story. They help keep the characters consistent in every scene, especially when creating visuals or animations. You can create your own character prompts by describing how you want your characters to look and behave. But if you want to make it easier to create your character prompts, you can ask ChatGPT for help. Just open ChatGPT and ask it to generate a character prompt for you. Now, I'll show you how to create a character prompt. I simply asked ChatGPT to make one for me by entering this, create a character prompt of a cute bunny. She has fluffy white fur, pink ears, a pink nose, and a pink mouth. Make it in 3D Pixar style. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT gave me a detailed character prompt for the cute bunny. It's super quick and easy to use. Now that you have a character prompt, the next step is to create character visuals based on that prompt. Step 3. Creating character visuals. To create character visuals, I will be using Piclumen AI. 
Piclumen AI is a powerful tool that turns text prompts into stunning 3D-style character visuals. It's especially useful for animation creators because it helps bring character designs to life quickly and accurately. To start creating visuals in Piclumen AI, click Generate for free and sign into your account. Once you're in, go to the Create section. Then, return to your document, copy the character prompt of your first character, and paste it into the text box field in Piclumen. Click the round button to choose the model. I selected the Flux 1 model. Next, set the aspect ratio. I chose 2 by 3 and select 2 to generate two images at a time. Finally, click Generate to create your visuals. And in a few seconds, Piclumen provided two cute characters according to our prompts. This duck is adorably cute, fluffy, bright, and full of personality. Perfect for a fun, animated adventure. If you want to create more images like these, just click Rerun and Piclumen will generate two new images for you. Choose one image to use for your story, then move on to generating the next character. Just repeat the process, copy the character prompt from your document, go back to Piclumen, paste it into the text box, and click Generate. Here are the images we created in Piclumen. To download them, simply click the down arrow below each image and save them to your computer. Step 4. Generating image scenes. To generate the scene images for our story, I'll be using ChatGPT. Go back to your document and copy your prepared story. Then, open ChatGPT and ask it to create image prompts for each scene by pasting in the full story. Within seconds, ChatGPT will generate detailed image prompts that you can use as a guide when creating your visuals later. Next, open ChatGPT to start creating visuals for each scene. Keep the character images you created in Piclumen open on the left side of your screen so you can easily drag and use the characters you need for each scene. Now it's time to start creating our visuals. In the first scene, only the wizard is mentioned. So, drag the wizard image into the ChatGPT text box, then copy the first image prompt from your document. Go back to ChatGPT, paste the prompt, and add Create the image in 16x9 landscape format. In the Tools section, select Create image, and finally click Generate. In just a few seconds, ChatGPT will provide a beautiful scene image based on your prompt. To download the image, click the down arrow below it and save it to your computer. Next, create the following image prompt. This scene includes two characters, Goldie the duck and Pinky the bunny. Copy the image prompt, then drag both the duck and bunny images into ChatGPT. Paste the prompt and click Generate. Wait a few seconds for the image scene to finish generating. Once it's done, save it to your computer. Just repeat these steps for each image scene, drag the character images, paste the prompt, and click Generate. Continue doing this until you've completed all the image scene prompts for your story. To save time, I'll fast forward through the next steps. Don't worry, this is just a quicker version of the same process we did earlier. And here are the image scenes we created using ChatGPT. Now that we have all our scene images, it's time to bring them to life. Let's move on to applying animation. Step 5. Generating video clips. To generate video clips, I will be using Veer. Veer is a user-friendly AI tool that turns images and scripts into animated video clips with ease. It's essential for creators because it streamlines the animation process, saving time while producing smooth, professional-looking results. With Veer, you can quickly bring characters and scenes to life, making your story visually engaging from start to finish. The amazing part is that this image-to-video animation AI tool is completely free. You can generate unlimited video clips without any cost. Of course, it might not stay free forever, so take advantage of it while you can. To start animating images with Veer, simply search Veer in your browser and click on the official website, veer.com. Make sure you're on the correct site before proceeding. To get started, click on Image to Video, then select Generate Video from Images. This will take you to the Video Generator section, where you can create unlimited video clips. To generate a video in Veer, start by uploading your image. Then, go back to ChatGPT, copy the image prompt related to that image, and paste it into the Video Prompts box in Veer. 
Set the video format to MP4 and the video length to 5 seconds the only option available. For the frame rate, I chose 25 FPS. The video dimension is fixed at 768p, so just leave it as is. Once everything is set, click Generate. After a few seconds, your video clip will be ready. To download your video clip, click the three dots in the lower right corner of the video, select Download, and save it to your computer. Repeat the same process for the next image prompt, upload the new image, copy and paste its corresponding prompt from ChatGPT into the video prompts box, adjust the settings and click Generate. Once the video is ready, download it and save it to your computer. Continue this process until you've created video clips for all your scene images. Here are the video clips we made in Veer. Be sure to name them in order to make the editing process smoother later on. Step 6. Video Editing To put everything together into one seamless video, we'll be using CapCut. To get started with CapCut, upload all your video clips and drag them onto the timeline. Set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 landscape format. Then, turn off the main track magnet so you can freely move and arrange your elements on the timeline. As you can see, the video clips don't quite fit the frame. To fix this, simply highlight all the clips and increase the scale until they fit properly. Now, all our videos are sized correctly. Next, drag all the video clips to the side to make space for the title. Upload the image you want to use as the title background and place it at the beginning of the timeline. Then, go to the text section and drag default text onto the timeline above the title image. Replace the default text with your desired title and position it properly on the screen. To style the text, go to Effects and choose the text style you prefer. Next, go to the Animation tab and choose a text animation for your title. Once selected, it will automatically be applied to your text. You can then adjust the duration of the animation to match the timing of the other elements in your title for a smooth and polished effect. For voiceover, go to Text to Speech, select the voice you like, Goldie and Pinky Adventure, and click Generate Speech. The voiceover will automatically appear below the text in the timeline. Next, arrange the other elements in your title to match your preferred layout. In my case, I moved the title and voiceover slightly to the right because I wanted to add an intro audio track at the beginning. Then, go to the audio section and click on sound effects. Search for kids intro and preview the track to see how it sounds. Once you find one you like, drag it to the beginning of the timeline. After that, click on the title image, go to the animation tab, and choose a movement style, it will be applied automatically. Finally, let's replay the video to see how everything looks together. Pinky Adventure. Now it's time to work on the main content of the video. Let's start by adding background music. Go to the audio section, click on sound effects, and search for kids background music. Once you find a track you like, simply drag it onto the timeline to use it as your background music. Now, focus on the video clips. Watch each one carefully and choose the clips that look good and fit well with your story. These are the clips you'll include in the final video. For any video clips that didn't turn out well, you can trim them and keep only the parts that fit nicely with your story. Continue this process until you reach the last video clip. Watch, select, and trim as needed. I'll fast forward this part to save time, so don't get confused. I'm simply going through the clips, choosing the best parts, and cutting the scenes I want to include in the story. Now, I'll cut the background music to better match the mood of each scene, since not every part of the video fits the same tone. I'll also add sound effects, character voice reactions, and a voiceover for the scene where the wizard appears. To add sound effects to your video, go to the sound effects section and search for the effects you want. Once you find one that fits, Drag it onto the timeline and place it at the exact moment you want it to play. Be sure to match the sound effect with the action in the scene for the best result. Apply sound effects throughout all your video clips. You can also add different background music tracks that better match the mood of specific scenes. 
Continue adding sound effects to each of the video clips, making sure they match the actions and emotions in every scene. This will help bring your story to life and make it more engaging for your audience. Now I'm going to create a short song for my characters. In this part of the video, one of the characters is singing, so we need a few lines of lyrics. I asked ChatGPT to create a five-line song about the moon and the river, and within seconds, it provided the lyrics. Just copy the first line, go back to CapCut, drag in a default text box, and paste the lyric line into it. Then, go to text-to-speech and scroll down to find the meme song voices, these are designed for singing. Choose one, and the singing voice will automatically appear on the timeline. Repeat this process for the remaining lyric lines. Now, in this part of the video, I'll add a voiceover for the character. First, find the moment where the character begins to speak. Then go to the text section, add a default text box, and type in the character's dialogue. Next, go to text to speech and choose a voice that fits the character. Once selected, click Generate Speech, and the voiceover will automatically be added to the timeline. Finally, trim any excess background music or sound effects to keep the audio clean and focused. Once you've finished editing your video, preview it to check for any mistakes and to make sure the timing of each clip matches the sound effects. Goldie and Pinky Adventure If you spot any errors, you can easily adjust and fix them. When everything looks and sounds right, it's time to export your project. To export your video in CapCut, follow these steps. Click the Export button in the top right corner of the screen. Enter a file name for your video and choose the folder where you'd like it to be saved. Make sure the resolution is set to 1080p for better quality and select MP4 as the format. Then click export again to begin rendering. After a few moments, your video will be saved and ready to share or upload. Now sit back, relax, and let's take a look at our final video. Goldie and Pinky Adventure Anytime to sing, dance, and relax with your friends. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Check out our other videos too.